Good morning, everybody. Oh, I hope you had a great weekend. Are you guys ready for um, our next installment of Stitch Happens? Um, should be fun. Oh, I hope you had a great weekend. Sorry about that. Had to um, turn the volume down. So I hope you guys had a great weekend. I, you know, did the normal stuff, nothing fancy, nothing super exciting, just relaxing. But I did do some work on my row. So I don't know if you can, hopefully you can see this because I don't see that well. All right, so the only thing I have to do now is quilt it and put some buttons on it. I put um, my shuttle and my sun on. And everything's been quilted and I did a little bit of um, thread painting so hopefully you can see that really really well but that's what I worked on and today we're gonna do stitch happened yay all right we're on part E last week we did this part and the first thing I'm gonna do as promised is we're gonna sew it to our existing bottom parts that we've done so far so all you have to do is if you press the seams correctly you know you've got one seam going this way and on the other side you have another seam going the opposite way you these should nest with no problem so I'm gonna pin them I don't do a lot of pinning but this is one of the places where I do just to make sure that everything is going to line up correctly and you can feel them when they nest and they're nice and flat they lock together and it, it makes just life much easier when you're trying to um, align your seams and make sure everything is in line so is everybody getting excited about row by row I know I am. I, it took me a long time this year to figure out what I was going to do. And um, as a result, I whoops got a little bit of a slow start. But better slow start than no start. As usual all you need now see I don't like that all right, I'm gonna just fix one little part that I don't like lined up um, all you need as just the same that we've been doing right along is a small ruler and by the way this is the new row by row taste the experience ruler I really love these rulers um, I have quite a few of them you can put one in your class bag one by your by your machine um, I just have them all over the place because these are great uh, for binding I use them all the time and just for little things so you need a ruler marking pen and just a small scissor you can use your rotary cutter but I don't I didn't think I needed it it doesn't it's just as easy to cut it with a scissor for what we're, we're working on. Yes, I do rip once in a while. I try very hard not to, but unfortunately it is a necessary evil. And I'm not a perfectionist by any means, but can you see how this is not lining up correctly? So that's what I'm trying to fix right there. Down here works great, but that one little spot, if it's off, I will notice it. Probably nobody else will, but it's one of those things that I don't like it. So it'll take me two seconds to fix it and make sure that it 
Like that. So the next part is fairly simple. We're just going to be doing half square triangles and what looks like kind of a nine patch. Keep going. All right. Do, 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 do. Now, this is what we're doing today. Okay. So we've got the one block here, and we've got a couple of half square triangles. The rest of this is just a normal, kind of like a nine patch. So you've got a lot of the same size blocks, but then you have two oversized blocks. And that is going to be our nine pat, I mean our half square triangle. So all you're going to do is put a line down the diagonal from one corner to the other corner. Hopefully you can see that. And you're going to stitch a quarter of an inch on each side of the line. And then when you cut on that line, you'll have two half square triangles. So let's do that first. Um, like I've said before, if you're using a quarter inch foot with the guide, just put the guide on the center line that you've drawn. I don't even cut it, the threads. All I do is pull it out a little bit and go back in. See, there's my little loop from when I pulled it and turned it. Um, and that does cut down on time as far as um, if you're working on a lot of these half square triangles. So. All we did was stitch on one side of the line and on the other side of the line a quarter of an inch from the line. And all I'm going to do is cut it in half. And we're going to have two half square triangles. Okay. Now, I would iron these um, towards the pink. So put the pink on top, set your seams, and when you flip them, the seam will be on the pink side. And best press, as always, is going to be your friend. When you've got a lot of small pieces, that little bit of starch um, really does help a lot. And I am going to cut the dog ears off. Okay. So... Let me just arrange this so you can kind of see where we're going with it. Okay. So all you're going to do now is um, just piece them in mini rows and then put your rows together. Now, um, 
the key to making this easy and making sure everything lines up is on this first one I iron the seam here to the to the dark side then this one we're doing the opposite and then this one we're doing the opposite of that so we're going back to the first direction so here because we've ironed this seam this way we would iron this seam that way and keep going back and forth opposite of what you did the row before if you do that all of these once you're done with your little mini rows will align perfectly So keeping the dark blue square on top, set your seam and iron it over. This one, um, we want towards the purple or the lavender. So keep the lavender on top and set your seam. Oops, Ugh. I'm dropping stuff. Ugh. All right, so now we've got this seam going this way. We've got this seam going this way because this seam is gonna go that way. So I'll put these two together. Okay, so keep the navy blue corner fabric down when you set your seam. And then your seam will be exactly how you need it to be. And I know this seems kind of tedious and um, uh, I'm harping on it, but when you iron these seams correctly and they're nice and flat, it'll help you align all the other seams. And it's a lot of piecing. so. It will realistically, trust me when I tell you, help you in the long run, especially when we go to the quilting part. If you don't have a lot of notches and bumps of the backing fabric and all the seams folded in opposite directions. Okay, so we're just gonna go right down the line. And unfortunately, I can't see any comments. So this would be a perfect opportunity to answer questions. And I haven't figured that out yet. Just one more thing on the long list of stuff to do. But please do, if you have questions or comments, just leave them um, and post them. And as soon as I'm done with this live video, I will post it to YouTube and answer all of your, que all of your questions.
So is um, the idea of ruler work on this project appealing to everybody or something that you're looking forward to? I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's the type of piece that you can just, it's small enough that it'll work easily for you on your tables and with these, the sample set of rulers, it'll give us plenty of opportunity to try different designs out. So I think it's going to be fun. I hope you guys are looking forward to it as much as I am. I haven't even figured out what I'm going to do yet, but there'll probably be um, a week or two um, where I don't have a video in between finishing this and um, when I'm ready to start with the ruler work just so that I have some time to um, get it actually quilted and figure out what I'm going to do. So here we go. Um, this seam we've, so we've ironed this way. So this one is going to go that way. And believe it or not, as I'm sewing them, they kind of are already falling exactly that way as far as um, the seams naturally want to go that way so it works out really really well and I don't know if any if everybody saw but I have new bottles came in Saturday I believe so I've got about a dozen more that just came in and they're the clear ones that everybody likes. Unfortunately, I can't always get the clear ones, but I've got them now. And if anybody's commenting, I'm sorry. I can't see them right now. So what other kinds of things besides the ruler work would you like me to possibly look into teaching you? Um, I'm willing to take any suggestions. Just give me some ideas. This month is booked, but I, it's going to be a busy month this month. But it's July I'm still working on as far as the schedule. So, you know, July is pretty much wide open except for a few days here and there. But if there's something you've wanted to learn and um, you can't figure it out or you need some help, let me know. Maybe I'll turn it into a class. Alright, so now I'm just going to sew. I'm sorry, this this block is pretty easy so I don't have a lot to show you it's just a nine patch I mean most of us have done yes it's not actually a nine patch but it's basically the same type of block in a while it decides it doesn't want to go so this month we've got um, Hoop Sisters Mystery Quilt which started Friday Wednesday at 1 o'clock I will have um, a free class for anybody that um, purchased the Hoop Sisters Mystery Quilt. If you come in and show me your receipt, if you need help downloading the files, I can do that for you. But I will also help you put the blocks together. And as an added bonus, if you sh show me your receipt and put me down as your local Hoop Sisters um, 
your local Hoop Sisters store then I will enter you into a drawing for a free Hoop Sisters CD of your choice um, doesn't matter which one any of the CDs they can go upwards of um, $200 so that's a really good deal and I do that's something that I do every year since I've started um, down here and then let's see we have the retro gaming quilt uh, which starts the 17th um, she'll be airing it on um, uh, a streaming site called Twitch which is a gamer site and I know probably most of you aren't going to have that or have um, access to it but the very next day it'll be on YouTube so um, most of you know how to get to YouTube and I'll have links to it in um, on Facebook for you so that should be a lot of fun and then what else? Oh, row by row, starting June 21st. It's going to be a very, very busy month. Um, if you haven't had a chance to get on Facebook, I posted a um, picture of, a, of um, eight shops in Western New York that have collaborated together on row by row which i think they're absolutely beautiful they each shop did their own row and when you put them together they are a garden scene so they have a gazebo they have um tons of different flowers and a bird bath and a beehive and herb garden i mean it was it's just absolutely gorgeous um I'm definitely gonna get it but if you haven't had a chance that's just one of the ones that I've seen so far that I really really like okay and if you don't have Facebook and you're viewing this on YouTube just do a search for um, let me see New York row by row and you may see something I'm tr pretty sure it'll be on the list when row by row finishes it but you may see it then or if you'd like just email me and I'll send you a picture but it's really really cute okay so now my mini rows are done and all I have to do is sew this one to this one this one to this one and then the two halves together and because I've already taken the time to make sure that my seams are really good as far as going in the right directions they will piece together perfectly Maybe not perfect, because there isn't much in quilting that's perfect, but you get my drift. anybody going anywhere fun this summer like on a vacation me probably not so much now it really doesn't um I was gonna about to say it doesn't matter which side you iron the seams but it actually does so that it will line up with the previous part of the machine that we did last week so this now as you can see that's your first block this seam needs to go down so you want to keep the navy blue down when you set the seam and then iron it up so 
there's our first half. I feel like I'm just, because I'm sewing this and it's not that difficult, so there's not a lot for me to talk about. I feel like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> not that I don't talk to myself on occasion. Because once in a while you need an expert opinion. Or what? I have a board meeting. Now on this one, um, it's going to go up. So the purple is where your uh, next spot is, where the, and we're going to iron the seam towards the purple. So in order to do that, you want the purple on top when you set your seam. So these two halves together. Whoops. So we're going to sew these two halves together. And this seam, we're going to iron up towards the navy blue side. Good morning, Alma. I finally see a comment. Woohoo! No, oh, I think I f might have figured it out. I can actually see comments. Cool. I hope you had a good weekend, Alma. So we're going to iron this final seam, there's our block, up this way. And to make sure we can do that, you are going to keep the blue on the top when you set your seam. Now, is it perfect? Nope. But that's okay. I'm fine with it. There you go. That's your next block. All right, so next week we got a lot of sewing together because next week we're going to work on whoops, this block right here, this whole area right there, which is a lot of flying geese um, and there's going to be two different ways of doing these flying geese so it might be a little bit longer video make sure you have as much of your stuff cut and ready to go as possible and I'll show you how to put it together it's really not hard it looks hard but it's not um, but you are going to be working with a lot of little pieces so I highly recommend um, um, Bass Press now, this piece that we just did is not going to get sewn onto the rest of the quilt that we've already started this piece right away. 
because we've still got to work on this area so that they line up. So don't go ahead. Um, ask me how I know I did it because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention the first time. So, but don't go ahead and sew it to um, the pieces you've already got. So that's all I have for today. Now I'm going to do some work on my row by row and a few other things. But I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later.